Here we are at NNN Agriculture, where they have the only pasteurized eggs in Singapore. The three main ingredients of the chicken feed are corn, soya bean, and spent grain. The feed is then transported by a truck to a silo beside each hen house. The eggs laid by the hens in the hen houses are then transported by elevator belts and conveyor belts to the egg store. This is done solely by machines and no manual work is involved. The eggs from the hen house is sent to an egg store via a conveyor belt. The eggs will go through a machine which will separate the good quality eggs from the off quality. The good quality eggs are then graded according to their quality once more. The egg is sorted into packaging and ready to be sold. The farm uses a palletizer to stack eggs onto a padlet. Manually placing cartons of eggs on padlet can be time consuming and expensive. Hence, the palletizer is an efficient alternative. The off quality and selected eggs are sent to a washer where they are cleaned and sent to the processing plant. Hard boiled eggs, liquid pasteurized eggs, and pasteurized shell eggs are three of the many products made in the processing plant. After the eggs are hard boiled, peeling is done automatically by the machine and packaged. Next is the pasteurization process. This process helps to kill all the bacteria including salmonella and bird flu virus in and on the egg. To pasteurize the eggs, they are put in a water bath at a certain temperature. Afterwards, they are coated with a layer of wax so as to stop any bacteria from entering the permeable egg shell. The eggs will be packaged by machines and moved to a chiller to ensure maximum freshness. Apart from pasteurized shell eggs, Egg Story also has pasteurized liquid eggs. The eggs are cracked by machines as well with minimal handling. These processes are mostly machine operated and require minimum labour. It is very different compared to the past where the farming industry is very labour intensive and under harsh weather conditions. Since technology has become more advanced, tasks can be carried out easily without much difficulty. The chicken manure is mixed with water and sent to the anaerobic digester for fermentation. This produces biogas. Next, the biogas will go through a compressor where it will remove moisture. The biogas from the compressor will be sent to the turbines to generate electricity. What happens to the leftover fermented manure then, you might ask? It is dried and mixed with other substances to become soil conditioner for plants as an end product. Farming may seem tedious and require a lot of labour work. But with technological advancements, manpower is minimised and efficiency is increased. Ultimately, we depend on food to live, and NNN Agriculture and many other farms make use of technology to supply our demand. <laughs>